Hello boys, how you doing? Um, as you can tell by the title and you guys are lies, um, Burnley are officially um, relegated from Premier League. Um, and <sighs> fair enough, fair enough. Um, if you can't win your games, you know, on the final day, Leeds and Burnley, they knew what they had to do. And we did not win our game and Leeds did. So most day, fair play to Leeds. They did what they had to do. They did their job. We didn't. Simple as that, really. So, yeah, just straight off the, straight off the bat, um, there you go. That's um, where my mind's at, that we simply do not deserve to be, to be in Premier League. Um, if you can't win your games, you can't make the most out of your, your chances, then there you go. Um, so, there would be a lot of conversations about what may happen for us down in the championship in terms of um, stability-wise, financially, who may leave, who may go, who may be the new manager, who may be the new manager, I don't know. It's all it's all up in the air because you know the likes of a, a Katil Nutson or a Vincent Company coming for the door. Um, it could be um, I don't know Joey Barton. I don't know. I don't know who's even in the running. I do not know who's in the running. Um, people may have a go at the likes of um, saying like your know, Dash got sacked. And if you that uh, Dash being sacked would make no would make no difference. We would have gone down anyway. Um, with with Sean Dash in charge, um, we would we would have been down by Watford away. So us even having a chance to be survived in Premier League and to stay up would be um, would be would be a very in incredible challenge and would be a great achievement. So that's where my my, my mind's at. And people may say Sean Dash and this and that. I think we 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 would be down without Sean Dash anyway. I'm trying to um stay a little ahead of there because I you know I don't want to like embarrass the fan base and go on a mad one and I'm sure many people they'll be, they'll be happy to see us down because of you know Burnley is a team that I think people love to hate and you know they <laughs> you know what I mean like people just don't like Burnley some do some like us at the Premier League I think um, but you know what I mean it's like the reality is we just don't deserve to be, to be in Premier League we've not played well and our final the final game the, the game that mattered the game that really mattered we didn't show up we didn't show up. Simple as that. Um, we didn't show up for many games this year with Sean Dyche, Norwich, and Watford at home, and um, I don't know Newcastle both games, and maybe maybe not Newcastle, but we've had our chances, we've had our opportunities, and we didn't take it. Simple as that, really. So yeah, I'm not going to embarrass the fan base and go into like you're know, screaming and whining. I'm not that kind of person. I I don't want to be that kind of person. So if you're here for that, then you're, you're in the wrong place. Um, I'm pretty, I don't know, like part of me is kind of, in a weird way, is like kind of excited for some stupid reason, thinking that oh, maybe this could be the, the rebuild of Burnley, new board, new transfer policies, new different players. And, um, you know, that's where my mind's at, really, thinking that maybe there's some sort of, you know, silver lining, maybe a rebuild, like what Newcastle did, like what Aston Villa did. Um, I don't know who else that's really done that well for rebounding, really. Maybe a Yolo club, be a Fulham or Norwich, I don't know. Um, but in terms of where I think we could be next year, I don't think that um, people may not know about the situation at Burnley, but I don't think we'll be, um, I don't think we'll be going back up. I don't think we'll be going back up. I think a lot of, a lot of players will be going uh, because of the current financial situation at the football club in terms of the likes of the club the club are bought out with a loan and leveraged cash back that, you know, that the club owned. So we'll be, pay, we'll be paying like 50 million, I think, paying like 50 million or 60 million um, to pay off loans, uh, loan debts, which um, will be paid out because we have got a lot of players that can be worth a good amount of value. So people say administration, we won't be administration, don't that's not really a concern. Um, the loan will be paid. It just won't mean that players will have to be sold. Like the likes of uh, Nathan Collins, like the likes of uh, Max McCorney, like the likes of Val Vegos, like the likes of Dwight McNeil, like the likes of Nick Pope, like the likes of Josh Browner, like the likes of Charlie Taylor. We'll be having a different team next year. My only hope is the fact that this is, I mean, we, were, we need a rebuild anyway. Maybe a rebuild could be easier in championship. I don't know. I'm trying to think of any sort of silver lining here. Maybe us being in championship could be hopeful in terms of we can have a complete rebuild. We, we already had some old players in the team. We already had some hope in the team. Um, so I don't know, man. That's kind of where my mind's at. I don't know. I just kind of feel like... I don't know, man. I just, in my mind, I'm not like, 
because I kind of expect it, like in the back of my mind, like I've got faith in the lads that they can do as a job because they've, they've given me a reason to believe in them in the last month or so. So that's why I've got faith in them to perform today, and they, they didn't perform today. Um, I don't think that we were good enough for the large, large chunk of the game, and for that reason alone, that's why I'm not really that upset, um, because we simply just don't deserve it. Simple as that, really. Um, and it's just weird, because so many things is out in the, um, in the open right now. We don't really know a lot about what will happen next, in terms of financially, in terms of managerial-wise, in terms of who's coming in, who's coming out, I don't know. A lot can happen in the next few months for Burnley Football Club. Um, but the main thing is that I am, you know, Burnley till I die. Simple as that. No matter where we are, I still support the, I still support the lads. I'll still be there for the lads, and I'll still be cheering on this team no matter where we are. So, I mean, I can't really say much else other than that, really. I really can't. You know, it's as simple as that. Um, we, if you go down and you don't deserve to be up, to, to be in Premier League, um, hope one day we could maybe go back up. Six years in Premier League, against the odds, financially, um, pulling off pulling off miracles, pulling off absolute miracles by even being here, in terms of what we do with our players, with the ability that we have. So, yeah, man. Um, I don't know, it's really weird. It's really weird, I'll be honest. Because part of me really wants to like be like sad and have a meltdown. And I probably should. I probably should. I mean, I'm looking at my Twitter. Everyone's going in on me, like going in on me. All the Leeds fans, and I don't, I don't expect any different. People don't like Burnley because they don't think that we deserve to be, to be in Prem. And I can't really deny that in terms of the fact that we aren't the best team in the league technically because we don't have the players for it. We don't have the quality for it. Nick Sherman to see us with the goddamn um, EFL numbers and fonts, and that's going to be great to see. Um, but yeah, man, like, I'm just going <laughs> to... Um, I'm just going to be as, as respectful as I possibly can, really. And um, I will take it a... Give it a couple of days to kind of sink into what may happen. We've got eight players out of contract this summer. We're at 60 million in debt. So we will have to sell more to our players. I don't know in terms of power payments what we haven't planned. I don't know how much money we even have as a board. Um, in terms of, as a personal, selfish perspective, you know, like, I I know that opportunities, opportunities between me and the club, I was, you know, I know that may affect m what I could be able to do with the club. You know, like, if we're in Prem, things like the Premier League and me doing things with the football club, with presentate, with presenting, you know, I, I, as a selfish perspective, and that will also harm my connection with the club. Um, yeah, I man, I'm just kind of gutted in the sense that I thought that we had it in us, and it was kind of, you know, it was to the end, innit? And it was the last five, ten minutes that Corne scored, and then Brentford scored. We had like we had like 15 minutes to like. One goal was it. We were close to the end. You know, it's not like it was completely devastating. By like the, the 50 or 60 minute, I thought it was already done. You know, Newcastle made it 2 0. Leeds 1 0 up. Why Raya just, I don't know why, passed it directly in the path of Rafinha. Check his Skybet account. Um, <laughs> now I'm going to kill him. But yeah, um, simple as that, really. Simple as that. I, I, I like Vegos missed a chance. But even if that went in, it still wouldn't really make a difference, I don't think. Like, maybe you could have went on to make a free, make a free two, but we missed big chances. You know, Norwich away, big chances missed. West Ham away, big chances missed. Because everyone's had a contract, and most players will want to leave. And we have to sell players to stay in the league and to stay financially stable. Um, I guess my only positive is the fact that we've got many derbies next year. You know, we've got bastards away. That'd be fun. Yeah, got Blackburn up against us. Got Preston. Got Wigan. Got Blackpool. Got maybe Huddersfield. Maybe if they go up and say that, I don't know. Um, so that'd be fun, I guess. You know, we can look forward to that. Um, championship. It'll be interesting. You never know. You never know. Maybe. Maybe we can maybe do something miraculous. Maybe smash it. I don't know. Maybe we can smash championship. Maybe we'll keep a good amount of of, of our players somehow. Maybe. <laughs> Maybe, you know, defensively, if you keep that strong core, Roberts, Collins, 
Taylor could maybe stay, maybe. Ben Mee could hopefully stay. And in goal, Pick Port would probably go. So probably have the likes of Hennessy in goal or Peacock Farrell, probably Hennessy. That could, that's a decent back line, I guess, so midfield-wise. Maybe could somehow keep Brownhill. Corkinet, maybe. Lennon, maybe. Dwight McNeil, maybe. I don't know, man. Um, there's, a, there's a weird amount of me that is kind of just hoping that maybe we could have some miraculous you know, rebuild job and we could be back up much better with a young team, with a Jewish team, with a new manager, with a new style of football, and maybe this could be the start of something special. As a football fan, the only thing I could do is really hope, innit? That's the only thing I could really hope. So, of course, I'm going to get, I'm gonna get bantered for the next three, four months. Um, but if any good news, you know, I guess, it, you know, maybe a silver lining here for my own personal selfish reasons. Um, at least, you know, I mean, I played football, I said, for my football team, and I, I won, um, and I started, and I, I scored and assisted. So, for me, at least I'm, I'm happy I've got that. Um, yeah, th this, this club is my life, man. So, like, I kind of expected it. To a, to a level because I know that us just being in this Premier League as money, money talks you know 16 clubs in Premier League has a billionaire as an owner the only four that doesn't is Burnley Watford Norwich and Brentford coincidentally three of those teams are going down money talks end of the day um, it's, it's not everything but that eventually will come back and bat you that, that will eventually come back to you and it will um, it'll play a factor so yeah, man, I just kind of feel like it's just going to be, uh, <laughs> I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to try and keep the hope that maybe this could, this could be some mad rebuild, and yeah, <laughs> I don't know, man, I'm, I'm kind of speechless here, there's not really much I can really say, you know, because end of the day, yeah, this is my life, this club, and I will always be with Burnley forever, and I will always hope on for that forever, and I will always hope that we can be we can maybe use this as some sort of rebound, hopefully, and do a Fulham or do a Norwich or do a Bournemouth or something. Maybe we could be in championship next year and have a fantastic season, you know, go into the playoffs or something, go up for the final. I don't know, man. You know, there's always something to look forward to. But you never know. We could maybe be mid mid table team like what well, like Stork City have done recently. So I guess that's the fun part of not knowing. And what could happen? You know what I mean? So, yeah, um, I think that's in the video. I can't really say much more about it. Got pressing away next year, Blackburn away. Look forward to that now, boys. And uh, maybe a rebuild. So, if you have the money for it, of course. Which I hope that we do. But we, we don't know. We don't know who we don't know who our new manager is. We don't know who it will be. Apparently, uh, Roy Keane is saying that he has no sympathy for Burnley for second Sean Dyche. How is this guy being paid? By the way, we we would we would have been sat with Daesh back back and Watford away. In reality, like there's no chance that we would be in a situation. We would have been down a long time ago, a long time ago, man. So I'll see you guys as we on. I have a day just to really think about this and have a talk and see what can maybe be happening for the future. And um, I'll see you guys tomorrow for another video. Peace out, boys. See ya.